Welcome to episode 22 of Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we'll focus on Central Africa. For the sake of this episode, the countries we'll look at are Burundi, Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, Chad, Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Sao Tome and Principe. We will learn how to make different land representations using toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper. Use wood to make different Central Africa architectures and learn some Central Africa facts along the way. Also, we'll have some fun with a Black Panther activity and finish our episode with our 22nd iteration of our time travel geography game. Today, you'll need your starter pack and the wood and construction and paper expansion pack. So let's jump in. Welcome to Cartography. I'm your host, Mark. I'd like to start by letting you know one of my favorite ice cream flavors is Rocky Road. I like the marshmallow and chocolate flavor, giving it a smooth taste. Make sure to let me know what your favorite ice cream flavor is and why below so I can get to know you better. Now let's get into cartography and geography. Do you know much about Central Africa countries? Burundi is a small landlocked country located in East Africa. The population of Burundi is about 11 million people. The country has a tropical highland climate and is known for its beautiful mountainous landscape. The total area is 27,834 square kilometers or 10,747 square miles. Cameroon is a country in West Central Africa. It's nearly 27 million people speak 250 native languages. Its total land area is 475,442 square kilometers or 183,569 square miles. This is 53rd in the world. The country's economy is largely based on agriculture with crops such as coffee, cocoa, and oil seeds being important exports. Central Africa Republic is a landlocked country in Central Africa. The country's economy is largely based on agriculture, with crops such as cotton, coffee, and tobacco being important exports despite having significant mineral deposits. The total land area is 622,984 square kilometers, or 240,535 square miles, with a population of over 5.4 million as of 2022. Chad is a landlocked country at the crossroads of North and Central Africa. Chad has a population of 16 million people. Its total area is 1,284,000 square kilometers or 496,000 square miles which is 20th in the world. Chad's economy is largely based on agriculture and livestock, with crops such as cotton, peanuts, and sorghum being important exports. The Republic of Congo is a tropical country with a diverse range of ecosystems, including rainforest, swamp, and savannas. The country's economy is largely based on oil, with the Republic of Congo being a major oil producer in Africa. Its total area is 342,000 square kilometers or 132,000 square miles with over 5.5 million people. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the second largest country in Africa by area at 2,345,000 409 square kilometers or 905,567 square miles. The country's economy is largely based on minerals, with the Democratic Republic of Congo being a major producer of copper, cobalt, and diamonds. There are over 108 million people making the country the 14th most populous country in the world. Equatorial Guinea 
is a country on the west coast of Central Africa with an area of 28,000 square kilometers or 11,000 square miles. As of 2021, the country had a population of 1,468,777. The country's economy is largely based on oil and natural gas with Equatorial Guinea being a major oil producer in Africa. Gabon is a country on the west coast of Central Africa and located on the equator. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers or 100,000 square miles, and its population is estimated at 2.3 million people. Gabon is a tropical country with a diverse range of ecosystems, including rainforests, savannas, and mangroves. San Tome and Principe is a small island nation located off the west coast of Africa in the Gulf of Guinea. It is composed of two main islands, San Tome and Principe, and several smaller islands. San Tome and Principe is located in the equatorial zone and has a tropical climate. The country's economy is largely based on agriculture with crops such as cocoa, coffee, and palm oil being important exports. The country has a total area of 1,001 square kilometers or 386 square miles with a population of over 223,000. For our first activity today, I'd like you to first draw a map of Central Africa using a piece of paper. Once you are complete, use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to recreate the map you sketch. You may need to cut out your drawing to help you work with the construction paper. Here is how I would do it. Now let's get into some of Central Africa's notable features. The Congo River, also known as the Zaire River, is the longest river in Central Africa and the second longest river in Africa after the Nile. It flows for about 4,700 miles from its source in the highlands of East Africa to the Atlantic Ocean. The Congo River is an important transportation route and a source of hydroelectric power for the region, and it is also home to a diverse array of plant and animal life, including in many endangered species. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the river on your Africa map. Here is how I would do it. The highest mountain in Central Africa is Mount Stanley, which is part of the Wazori Mountains in Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mount Stanley has three peaks, with the highest being Margarita Peak which reaches an elevation of 16,763 feet or 5,109 meters. The Rizori Mountains are a mountain range located in East Africa and are known for their high peaks, glaciers, and unique plant and animal life. The mountains are a popular destination for hiking and mountain climbing and are also home to several protected areas including the Rizori Mountains National Park. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the mountain on your Africa map. Here is how I would do it. The Congo Rainforest, also known as the Congo Basin, is the largest rainforest in Central Africa and the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon Rainforest. It covers an area of approximately 2.3 million square miles and is home to a diverse array of plant and animal life, including many species that are found nowhere else on Earth. The Congo Rainforest is an important source of timber, minerals, and other natural resources and is also an important carbon sink, meaning that it absorbs and stores large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Despite its ecological and economic importance, the Congo Rainforest is under threat from deforestation logging, and other human activities. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the forest on your Africa map. 
Here is how I would do it. The desert region of Chad is located in the northern and western parts of the country and is characterized by hot, dry conditions and sparse vegetation. The desert region of Chad is part of the larger Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert in Africa and covers a large portion of Central Africa. The desert region of Chad is among the hottest and driest in the world with temperatures reaching up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall of less than four inches or 100 millimeters. Despite being harsh conditions, the desert region of Chad is home to a variety of plant and animal life, including camels, gazelles, and various species of desert adapted birds and reptiles. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the desert on your Africa map. Here is how I would do it. Lake Tanganyika is a large deep lake in Central Africa that is shared by four countries. Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, and Zambia. It is the longest freshwater lake in the world and the second largest lake in Africa after Lake Victoria. The lake is known for its great depth and clear waters and is home to a diverse range of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. The lake is an important source of fish for local communities and is also a popular destination for tourists who come to see its beautiful scenery and wildlife. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the lake on your Africa map. Here is how I would do it. Now let's look at some landmarks of Central Africa. The Presidential Palace of Gabon and the Kinshasa Cathedral are two great ones. The Presidential Palace of Gabon is the official residence of the President of Gabon. It is located in the capital city of Libreville and is an important political and architectural landmark in the country. The palace was built in the 1960s and is a large modern building that reflects the architectural style of the time. It is surrounded by gardens and other buildings, including the presidential office and other government buildings. The palace is not open to the public, but it is a prominent and well-known landmark in Gabon. The Kinshasa Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Congo, is a Roman Catholic cathedral located in the capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is an important architectural and cultural landmark in the country and serves as the seat of the Archbishop of Kinshasa. It is a large modernist building made of concrete with a tall pointed spire that dominates the skyline of Kinshasa. The interior of the cathedral is also notable with a high ceiling and large stained glass windows. The cathedral is a popular tourist attraction is an important place of worship for the Catholic community in Kinshasa. Use a combination of toothpicks, popsicle sticks, and construction paper to create the two landmarks on your Africa map. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, take a picture of your map and send it to me so I can feature it in our announcement section. Now let's look at smaller scale maps. Central Africa has had a unique architecture styles throughout history. The architecture of Central Africa reflects a diverse mix of cultural influences, including European, African, and Arabic. It includes a range of building styles and traditions from traditional thatched huts to modern skyscrapers. One of the most distinctive features of Central African architecture is the use of local materials such as wood, clay, and thatch in the construction of buildings. This is especially common in rural areas where traditional building techniques have been passed down for generations. In urban areas, however, modern building materials such as concrete and steel are more commonly used. Central African architecture 
also reflects the region's colonial history with many buildings in urban areas having been built during the colonial periods. These buildings often have a European influence architecture style. Overall, the architecture of Central Africa is diverse and reflects the unique cultural and historical influences of the region. As for our next activity, on the flat piece of wood, draw elements from Central Africa architecture using the markers. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, please take a picture of your building and send it to me so I can feature it in our announcement section. Now let's look at two interesting cities in Central Africa. Kinshasa and Brazzaville are the two we will look at today. Kinshasa is the capital and largest city of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is located in Western Congo on the Congo River. With a population of over 14 million people, Kinshasa is one of the largest cities in Africa. It is the major cultural and economic center, as well as a hub for transportation and communications in the region. Kinshasa is a major center for the production of oil, diamonds, and other natural resources. And it is also home to a number of manufacturing companies. The service sector is also important to the city's economy with a range of businesses providing services to both local and international customers. Brazzaville is, a, is the capital and largest city of the Republic of Congo. It is located in the western part of the country on the Congo River, with a population of over 2 million people. Brazzaville is one of the largest cities in Central Africa. It is a major transportation hub and center of trade and industry in the region. The city is known for its French colonial architecture and its vibrant music and art scene. The city has a diverse economy with sectors including oil and gas, forestry, agriculture, and services. Oil and gas are particularly important to the city's economy with a number of oil and gas companies based in the city. Black Panther is a fictional character and superhero appearing in American comic books and movies published by Marvel Comics and Disney. The Black Panther is the alter ego of Chachala, king of the fictional African nation of Wakanda. Although Wakanda is not a real place, it is often depicted as being located in Central Africa in the Marvel Universe. Wakanda is portrayed as an advanced, technologically advanced nation powered by a special material called vibranium. For today's activity, we are going to collect as much vibranium as possible within Central Africa. You will have 100 years to use 100 vibranium, 100 iron, and 100 people to collect as much vibranium as possible. The final thing we'll be doing today is the 22nd installment of a game we'll be completing throughout the year. It is the near future and you are a detective for a time travel company. A group of criminals called The Agent are going back in time to change the past. It is your responsibility to determine when, where, and what they're going to steal based on clues sent to us. Today's clues are... It's 32 inches or 81 centimeters tall and wooden. Location it was acquired from. And the year it was acquired by the German Gustav Conrad. Send your answers in with your name for season one points to be posted to our notification section. That's all for episode 22 of Cartography and Geography Club. I hope you had fun, and I look forward to next week's episode where we will continue our Africa classes by looking at Southern Africa. Have a great week!